fire. It helps us cook our food and heat our homes, but it can be destructive. Taking down a building and everything inside. So how do you tame the flames? You're already starting to see this black smoke. When it comes to plastic, there are some new ideas. If there was ever a short in any of these parts, if that plastic wasn't flame retarded, then you would, you would start a fire. Plastic burns if you don't put a flame retardant additive into it. It's basically fuel. They're based on materials that are flammable. This is FRX 100. Mark LaBelle co-founded FRX Polymers in 2007, believing he and his partners could be the first to produce a new kind of plastic. One that is not only flame retardant, but they say less toxic too. This plastic is not treated with any flame retardant. This material would not be safe. The plastic on the right is combined with the FRX polymer. Here it drips, but you see there's no flaming drip. And as soon as he takes away the flame, it stops melting. Traditionally, flame retardants for plastics have been produced using chemicals like bromine, which the Environmental Protection Agency says may be toxic to humans and wildlife. We transfer it through this line into this reactor. FRX's plastic is made of a bromine-free proprietary formula. While not biodegradable, it can be recycled. The EPA is assessing the product and a list of possible alternatives to bromine-based fire retardants. This is our material in its final form that we sell to our customers. LaBelle envisions his plastics being in everything from carpets to planes to electronics. He says 10 companies have placed orders. So it's like making bread. The only difference between this and, and cooking is that you're starting with plastics and you're putting different additives into plastics. In March, FRX received nearly $27 million in new funding to help expand its operations, including a new plant in Belgium scheduled to open in the fourth quarter of 2013. Though the plastic will be made in Europe, the company's headquarters and its research and development will continue to be here in this facility in Massachusetts. You can really take an idea, if it's a good idea and you can articulate it, you can get it funded, you can start a company, you can hire people. It's what makes the United States a great country to start a company in. For CNN Money, I'm Bob Crowley.